What about you? I'm good. I went to my my best friend's house because it's her birthday. Why can't you just say that you're still in your room? What? You just need to see that you're still in your room. Oh no, I mean earlier. Oh. Yes, in the afternoon. All right, so how about you? What did you do today? Just playing around the house and just giving me something. Is there a lot of fish still in the road? Someone has picked it up. Oh, someone picked it up. All right. So how is your country today? It's less of rain, but it's still cold. It's still cold, but yeah. it's not raining or it's still raining? A little raining. Oh, a little rain. All right, that's good. And no more fish. <laughs> no, there's still more. Oh, this, there's still more fish on the road. Yes, in the night, people are going to pick up the lighter and go into the bushes to find if there's any fish left. Uh, I'm sorry, I really can't understand you. I think um, that's because of the wind of the fan. Hmm, they just, they just um, find any fish left. Oh, some um, some leftover fish. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what? have you eaten your dinner? Yes. What about you? Mm, yes. And um, what did you have for dinner? Um, fish, some vegetable, and um, some vegetable. fish and vegetable. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite vegetable? Potato. Potato, yes, I like potato too. Mm-hmm. Um, I like broccoli, broccoli too. Broccoli, yes, it's broccoli. I like it too, but it's some sometimes it's um I don't like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, boiled broccoli with um carrots and beans. No, you just eat it. Um, just bought broccoli. Boiled broccoli. Yes, it's not any food bit. Oh, because um, I've tasted I've I've tasted um, boiled broccoli with some corn and with some carrots and some pork and it's good. Yeah. Yes, corn um like um it's not a it's a baby corn. Yes, I know. Yes, and it's very good. Even if I'm small, but I still have to work and I hate it. What? I have a work, but I hate it. What? You have what? I have a work. A work? Yes, delivery. To to what? Delivery to... Oh, you yes. have a work now. Yes, but I hate it. Why? Every time I go to delivery, my... Toes just flip up. Oh, your toes. So you have to wear something. I still wear shoes, but shoes. It's like me. Like it's not good at all. Oh, so you you deliver something, and what is that? A food? No, it's just um, my dad package. Oh, your dad package, and you you deliver it where? Where do you deliver it? All right, go. So you're a delivery boy for today. <laughs> no, I'm still in my um, one of the family house. Oh yes, I know because um your background is familiar. Like yeah. um. Wait. Okay. Post office. Oh, to the post office. 
Yeah. By yourself? By yourself? Yes. Sometimes uh, my friend go to me. Is it um Flor? Um yes, fifty meters. Fifty meters. So you have to wear your mask if you are going outside, okay? Because if we don't wear the mask and then we will lose money. What? If I don't wear a mask and then I will lose some money. Oh, yes. Because um I think we'll, um some officer will um will talk to you, right? Yes, someone. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's my TS. All right, and your father give you money if you deliver something. Yes. Wow, that's very good. And you're saving money now. Yes, I'm still saving. What? I'm still saving. Very good. And um, what do you want to do with your money? Then it's just do something to my future. Like your future. In, like in college, I will need a computer, so I'm just that. Spend money to buy it. Wow, very good. So you're planning to buy computers? Just for study. Yes, just for study because when you're in college or in high school, um, computer is very important. For example, your teacher gives you a homework, right? Um, yeah. It's a research and, um, in, um, and using computer or internet is much easier than to look for it in a book, right? Yes, but if I have it, this time is useless. Yes. Oh, but, I can find something. Yes, that's good. But um, book is also good. It's very important than using um computer. But um, the most easier to use is um computer, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Now let's start. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yeah, so are you done with the puzzle or I will give you more time of it to answer it? You need more time because I cannot not have um, I can't use the computer now. Alright, so I will give you more time to answer this. I have to answer it. Alright, so this is our lesson for tonight. We are going to talk about um, getting married. It's lesson number seven. Say ceremonies. Ceremonies. Usually, marriage of two one man, the break and the one man, the woman, the other part, in other parts of the world. Hello, Vanna. I'm still here. Alright, wait. Sorry, I can't really understand you. I think because of the wind. Yes, the wind. The wind. Yes, okay. you can still hear this. Yes, I can't really understand you. I think because of your fan. Okay, turn it off. Okay, now. Is it hot there? No, it's very cold. But <laughs> I still... But yes. you're still using your, uh, your fan. But this, because the computer will hot fast. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, don't worry. Our our class is just only twenty five minutes, so you can um turn on it later. All right. Wait. When I'm waiting. Okay. Continue. Where waiting? Wait. I forgot. What? Okay. The way the son of Shrek, Robin, Ben said, uh, Matkon and Prince Sama. The wedding ceremony took 
Seven days and cost forty-four million dollars. This was held in a large meeting which was specially built for the ceremony and looked like a stadium. The bridge and the room need a large place for their wedding because more than two thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand guests were invited. The reason why a man and women get married also vary. Sometimes they marry marry because they are in love. Sometimes they marry someone meet for the magic market, and sometimes they marry because their parents tell them that they must marry. One and another example of. Arranged marriage took place. Arrange? Alright, say arrange. Arrange. Marriage took place in Bangladesh. Bangladesh in 1986. The woman was an 11-month-old boy. What is it? 11-month-old boy. Wait. I think the book is errors. No. And Month boy. Yes, so they were the youngest married couple ever. We're going to talk about that later. But first, um, just finish finish this one. And the bridge was three months old. Wait, they were the youngest married couple ever. The parents of the bridge and groom arranged the bride. Marriage. All right, say bride. Bride and groom arranged the marriage was a way. Authenticating a fight between the two families who had been arguing over a farm for 20 years. Both families thought that they owned the farm, but no one knew exactly. The fight ended good when the young boy met the young girl, Mary, arranging the mar his marriage. His family was forced to lose place. The two families arranged to give the farm to the young couple. All right, very good. So this is about getting married, and you'll laugh when you read um, this part, right? <laughs> the groom was an 11-month-old boy, and the bride was the three-month-old girl. Yeah. So they were the youngest married couple, but in other country, um, they're not allowed to to um to get married if um boy and girl are still young. But but in Bangladesh, and it happened in 1986, so meaning they're just both a baby, right? They're both a baby. Yes, yeah, but uh, in India, the um, second um, wedding is with an old man and a and they're young girl. Yes, and, they, and these um, babies didn't know what is happening. Yes, yeah, even they did not know what... Yes, and, right, because, um, and the reason why their parents decide to, to, to marry them, because um, the parents of the bride and the groom, bride is a girl, and groom is a boy, yes. arrange the marriage as the way of ending a fight between the two families, because they are fighting, and they have been arguing over a farm for 20 years. Yes. For 20 years, they are arguing over a farm, and both families thought that um, they owned the farm. But no one knew exactly. They didn't know what exactly, um, or who exactly owned the farm. And the fight ended for good when the young boy married the young girl. <laughs> and by arranging this marriage, neither family was forced to lose face. Both of families are not um are not happy. Yes. For what is happening, but um they think that this is only the way to, to end it up the fight. I even don't know what this lesson about. What? I even don't know what this lesson all about. <laughs> Maybe it's about um this one. What what is the procedure what are the procedure of getting married? And this is Yes, an example. What? Yeah, still young. All right, and by arranging this marriage, neither family was forced to lose face. And 
the two families agreed to give the farm to the young couple. Yes, yeah, so they give um, the farm to the young couple. And then the, the fight was over. Yes. Do you think they were happy? No. No. <laughs> Why? Even if the marriage in the boy and the girl will not know that what is happening. Yes, and even the girl. They didn't even know what is happening. They're not um, two years old. They are then not three yeah, also, no one can know how to talk. Yes, and what if um they fight something? Because um, for example, these two um these two babies grown um grow, may, may, um, and they are already seven years old. Seven they years. still didn't understand or can't understand what is happening, right? Yes, even if they um not know how to, even when they grow up. Yes, and that is um, what we call arran arranged marriage. Yes, yeah. yeah, so arranged marriage is um, it's when your um, when your parents force you to marry to marry someone because but, of the money. Yes, uh, but the parents is not right to. Yes, the parents don't have rights to to force their their children to get married to someone, right? One is one life, but the parents' life is not important to um, some. Is not important to the law because yeah. the parents yeah. not have any way. If the girl was still love the boy, but some way that the parents was is forced to um, make them love each other. Yes, make love each other. Because marriage is very important, right? Marriage. I mean, marriage is really important. Um, y you can only marry someone if you really love her or his or him, right? Yeah. Because if if you just want to to marry that people because of the money, it's bad, right? Yeah, I just need a blanket now. <laughs> what? I just need a blanket now. Blanket because it's very cold because you're still using your fan. Even yes. though it's really cold. I use the computer to have a house. What? I use the computer to have a house. Oh, we have an hours and what do you what did you do? Just check the computer. And oh. uh, delete something. Make something. Delete something. Oh, delete something. Alright. So look at here. I can't find the, the article, but um, let's watch this one. This one. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh. Healthy yes, me too. Fabulous outside. I glow, right? My right. 12 pesos lang. Oh, so good. What? Yeah, no, I can't keep the ad. There are different type of odd couples Wait. you might find around you, and you can quick guest and unusual couples in the world. Before we begin, make <laughs> sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Yousaf Nasser Hassan and Garam Rida Mohammed. Oh in my 2016, God. social media platforms across yeah. Egypt. Shared He's photos of a prepubescent a couple getting married, <laughs> sickening many and receiving <laughs> deprecation by many, what? according to the. Just like five year old. Yes, I think this one is seven years old, and this one is, I think it's seven years old too, right? Wait, it was just like dolls. Dolls, the girl. Yes. Because of her makeup. Yes. <laughs> The posts share, the couple are 12-year-old Yousef Nasser Hassan and his Look first cousin, 11-year-old Garam Rida Mohammed. The couple's parents said the boy and girl had been in love since they were born, and they decided their marriage would be the natural next <laughs> step to their relationship, and their marriage made them the world's youngest couple. Oh my god. Bonnie Buckland and Leslie Conley. 
Leslie oh, Cody yeah. is 16 year old enough to wed his childhood sweetheart. Yeah, oh. The teenager has become Britain's youngest groom after marrying just 18 those. days after oh. his 16th birthday. Wait. Leslie married long term girlfriend Bonnie Buckland, 17, yeah. at a lavish ceremony in Swindon. Leslie started dating Bonnie when he was oh, in this a when doctors oh, told yeah. nine-year-old Jayla that she was diagnosed with leukemia and didn't have much time, she felt bad as it was her dream oh, to my. walk down the aisle in a wedding gown. But her family fulfilled her wish. Look at she her. married her friend Jess Grace. Oh, she, whom she, she met married her friend. My head hit the table. What? My head hit the table because I laughed too much. <laughs> Don't laugh too much. All right, a medical here. hospital. Look at them. And he was also diagnosed with leukemia. This is really beautiful and disheartening at the same time. Jayla didn't win with leukemia, but she must have left with a smile on her face. Oh. The two families wanted the mock wedding, which took place in Dallas, Texas, on Sunday, to be oh. a celebration of life and friendship. <laughs> they are not one of the weird couples, but definitely an unusual one. <laughs> Why? Why did you laugh? A teen couple in China. He has been met with fury after surfacing in local yeah. news reports decided to arrange her unofficial ceremony after the girl fell pregnant. She and her boyfriend were filmed wearing traditional red costumes during the lavish event. Oh, a photographer works frantically to get rid. A terminally ill five-year-old girl fulfilled her own wish of having a fairytale wedding yeah. when she married her best friend in a touching ceremony. <laughs> Ely Patterson from Chores Moray made a bucket list after she was diagnosed with terminal neuroblastoma, a rare form of childhood cancer, oh and said the thing oh she most wanted to do the was tie the cancer. Yeah. Not with her best friend who's sick. What? She would die. Yes. After she's last day. Yes, that's why um, she married her best friend. Six-year-old Harrison Greer. Bravey Lead's dreams came true yesterday when the pair exchanged necklaces and were declared best friends forever in a poignant ceremony attended by family, friends, and a cast of costumed princesses and superheroes. And a 16-year-old girl 16 have clarified old. online that they both were 16 yeah. year old and their marriage was accepted by their respective families despite the legal marriageable age in China. They don't even the know how to how to work, right? Maybe they are um rich. That's why um their parents allow them to get married even th even though they are still young, right? 22 four males and 20 four females. Oh, look at that. China reported the couple from <laughs> Guangxi Zhuang autonomous <laughs> region claimed to have known each other for over a year. Both have what? dropped out of school. It's just, it's just like cotton cats. Yes. Aside from clarifying their rages in the online statement, the two also refuted netism speculation that the marriage to a marriageable age, oh the current debate or attention on. <laughs> so, what can you say about the videos? I even don't know. I even I don't understand what is marriage. Ma what is marriage? I not even understand what is marriage and okay, how here. it works. Oh, marriage is here. When you want to settle down with someone. Do you understand me? Yes, I feel that I'm too small for this. Yes, because, um, for example, um, when you're old enough and you have a stable job and you're, you're earning enough money to, to, to have a, a family, a new family, or your own family, you can and for example, um, you have a girlfriend and you want to settle down, so you can ask her to marry you, and that's we call proposal, or you propose to her. You are going to propose to your girlfriend, so that is, and and then you can plan your wedding for for I think one year or six months if you had money, and then you can yeah, get married after that. But um, remember, in according to the book. Um, some of the couples or some of the yeah some of the couples are forced to marry because um, of the money right yes and that's we call arranged married marriage all right what what do you say about this or what can uh, you say about that that's bad that's bad yes that's and? very bad that's very bad and and if the parents in the first Someone to love each other, even if they don't love them. Um, the the people was first must uh, must fight back because 
She even don't love her. Who are his? Yes, and um, parents don't have a right to, to force their children to marry someone, right? Yes. Right? What if your your father forced to force you to marry someone that you don't love? Maybe it's your um, it's your father's um friend. Yeah, sure. Mm, why? Only sometimes. Times? Do you have a crush? No. Really? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. How old are you again? Mm, ten. Ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> Why are you smiling? That makes me not good. <laughs> not good? Okay. Okay, I have a question. What? What? But this is not about um, what we are studying. Okay, go. What do you, what you do when zombie is coming? Zombie is coming? Yes, what you will do? I think I will hide. Um, make you hide and like a sound zombie will find you. Oh my god, I will fight the zombie. I will get some gun or um, some weapon. I feel that the melee weapon is the best weapon for it. What? I feel that the melee weapon is the best. What is that? Um, like knife and, and oh. some sword. Yes, I think sword is the best um, weapon to fight the zombie, right? You, you can cut off their heads. Yes, right? the hands is the, the weak point. Yeah. But I can protect fam families. Yes, protect families. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Scavenger in zombie times attack. What? Zombie times? Oh uh, no. The scavenger in zombie when zombie attack. Oh, if if I uh, know, I haven't watched that movie. The scavenger is the one who will stole your tools. Oh, and? And the uh, their results will be um will be in again. They will use it and fight back other. And fight back other? Yes. It means that they kill other to take their supplies. Oh, to take the supplies. Well, wow. okay. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our time is up and we are going to talk about this um, tomorrow, all right? Okay. And please um, answer the puzzle and let me know if you're done with it, okay? Yes, well. Okay, and I'll see. <laughs> yes, okay, but I'll give you some, um, more time to answer it. All right. Yes, and uh, uh, I will not. I think that I will not continue the marriage and lesson more. All right. Yes, we are going to move to our new lesson. Okay. Yes, because sometimes as your lodge may be crying lodge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Have a yes. good night. <laughs> Have a good night.